The concept of consciousness is widely discussed but seldom understood in its essence. In our bustling, noisy lives, it's easy to get lost amidst distractions and forget to listen to our inner self. For modern society, the ancient secrets emphasize the need to cultivate magical attention to access our inner potential. The starting point of this technique is focusing on one's physical, emotional, and mental state. To tap into a deeper level of awareness, one must first be fully present. Here and now, without distractions, we observe ourselves meticulously. This exercise in detailed self-analysis can reveal nuances about our well-being that we often ignore. The goal is not to attain an extraordinary state but rather a state of clarity and balance, for any emotional instability is considered a waste of vital energy. The next stage involves consciousness in action. Imagine the graceful movements of a tiger, poised to leap at any moment yet without anxiety. The idea is to apply this level of alertness to our daily activities, imbuing them with a sense of purpose and power. This state is complemented by a sensation of quiet joy, signaling that we are on the right path, in tune with the heart of the earth and, by extension, the universe. Finally, but no less critical, is consciousness in listening. Most people don't truly listen. They merely hear. The ability to genuinely listen involves opening up to the unknown, to the reality of the speaker and, by extension, to our inner truth. This step engages human intuition, allowing a deeper connection with our authentic self, which is both known and unknown. See the importance of order in daily life, which includes proper nutrition, physical exercise, and a critical attitude toward the ideas and environments surrounding us. The objective is to preserve vital energy, channeling it toward the awakening of higher consciousness. The secret practice of consciousness is not a set of mystical tricks or an easy path to self-knowledge. It's an invitation to live more mindfully, purposefully, and connected to our essence and the world around us. Through these three steps, attending to one state, consciousness in action, and consciousness in listening, we can not only transform our perception of reality but perhaps discover a deeper sense of meaning in our existence. It is a golden key to unlocking human potential, connecting us with ancestral and universal wisdom. With continual practice, we can find a path to true enlightenment, not as an achieved state but as an ongoing and eternal practice, rooted in the here and now. The practice of magical attention, as revealed by Carlos Castaneda, is built upon the foundations of the tonal and the tnawal, central concepts in Toltec philosophy. The tonal is the world as we know it, rational, explainable, dominated by logic. The nawal is the realm of the indescribable, the mystical, that which lies beyond common human understanding. Life is a dance between the tonal and the nawal, between what we can explain and what we can only feel. To navigate this dance gracefully, we must become masters of attention. Magical attention is not merely a technique but a state of being, a quality of consciousness. It is the art of being fully present, not just in body but in mind and spirit. Learn to focus on our own state. The aim is to bring clarity and awareness to our physical, emotional, and mental well-being. Yet, we should not stop there. The state is just the surface of the ocean, beneath it lie unfathomable depths of potential and wisdom. The practice is not just a solitary act of introspection but an interactive dance with the world. True attention transforms every action into a sacred act, every moment into an opportunity for awakening. We learn the importance of listening, not just with our ears but with our entire being. Deep listening connects us with the Nawal, 
the realm of the indescribable, and allows us to enter into a state of communion with the deepest truths of our existence. When speaking of listening, it's essential to mention the power of internal silence. Amidst the constant noise of the tonal, internal silence serves as a sanctuary where we can meet the Nawal. Silence is not an absence but the fullness of being. It's the space where true transformation can occur. The act of true listening goes beyond superficial hearing. It involves an exchange of energies, an empathy that makes us aware of the pain and joy of others as if they were our own. This is true compassion, not an empty word but a transformative experience that unites us in the fabric of existence. The practice of magical attention is a journey, a voyage from the tonal to the nawal, from the surface to the depths, from ego to being. And on this journey, we are not merely seekers but also creators of our reality. The awakening of consciousness is not an end but a continuous becoming, an eternal flow in the river of being. And it's in this flow that we discover our true nature, not as isolated beings but as waves in the ocean of consciousness. Have you heard the ancient wisdom teaching about the importance of detachment for achieving true freedom? Magical attention and detachment go hand in hand, each enhancing the power of the other. By paying full attention to our states, actions, and the environment around us, we begin to notice the currents of desire and attachment that often direct us. Detachment is not an act of rejection but an act of pure love, it is unconditional love for what we are and what is, free from the ties of ego. In our quest for the awakening of consciousness, it's vital to remember that the now is a mirror reflecting our true nature. In Buddhism, this is often referred to as the middle ground between samsara, the cycle of suffering and rebirth, and nirvana, the state of liberation. Magical attention is the key that allows us to inhabit this middle ground and, more importantly, expand it. By being fully present, we stop fighting against life and start flowing with it, which eventually leads to a state of inner peace and true freedom. The ancient secrets to awakening consciousness involve the cultivation of magical attention. This approach emphasizes being fully present, engaging in consciousness in action, and deeply listening to both the outer world and our inner selves. Through this triad of practices, we unlock the power of true freedom, anchored in the here and now.